guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Malia and this is part five of our pregnancy vlog. If you haven't already, make sure to go back a couple videos to catch up. But if you have been here, welcome back. So today I have a big update. We are moving again. So we've been sharing this place with Lisa and Chris for less than a year now. But since we are having a little one on the way and since Lisa and Chris also eventually want to start their own family, of course, we're going to need a little more space. <laughs> It will be really exciting because this will be John and I's first time living just us two. I mean, of course, with Donna and our little mini us. For the past month, we've been just looking around at apartments, trying to find a new place. Um, we wanted a gym that catered to all our needs and where we can comfortably record for content. That way we don't have to go out and commit to a gym membership at a commercial gym where it's a little more crowded. We thought that'd be important, especially for us to record content while you know, taking care of the baby at the same time. So we do need a place where we can comfortably be able to do that. All the places that we've been looking at, they've had their pros and cons. We've been searching all around, uh, trying to avoid downtown LA as much as possible. This will be the first time we're gonna be this close to LA. And the two places that we actually narrowed it down to where we're not super in the heart of LA, but you know, if you go up the street, we'll be in downtown LA, has been Chinatown, which is great because all the food options around there, I would love to be around. But aside from that, we did narrow it down to two places that we've been going back and forth on. I wish we could combine the places that we like along with the concessions and amenities, and it would just be the perfect place but we narrowed it down to two places. One of the places, very spacious, and we're kind of looking for a place with a balcony because of the things that we need to do. If you guys don't know, John has been playing around with tufting, which is making rugs. So he's gonna be needing to air out the glue that he uses, which is toxic, and it kind of fills up the air. So he needs a balcony to be able to air that out. We're leaning towards one place only because they have everything we need. The only issue, it's not the place itself, but it's dealing with the different leasing managers every single time we go there. Uh, the first time we went there, we got a great deal. Application on the website was just not user-friendly, so we weren't able to pull that spot within 24 hours. And by the time we called back, they told us that the price increased, which I guess is something that the system just does. So the price increased, and then a few days later, we checked back again with a different leasing manager, and then they gave us another place to look at there. Everything that we wanted, again, we were looking at this one before. So instead of wood, it's all industrial and lots and lots of storage, which we like. They said that this didn't have a balcony, but it does. We come back and then they tell us that that same day someone had already applied for it, which is weird because I'm like, why didn't you guys show us this before? We only wanted to stay there if we got the balcony. If not, then we would have gone to this other place, which doesn't have a balcony, but what you pay for at this location. This is more spacious. Yeah. It's super under construction still. So. You would still get more out of it and it's brand new. It's in a safe place. It's conveniently right across the street from a grocery store. Anyways, we followed up again a week later. We actually went again today. A new apartment opened up. I guess somebody wanted to upgrade their apartment, but the problem was he also quoted us a different price than what he quoted us on the phone. Fortunately, he had the recording of what he quoted us earlier this week. Now we're just waiting on him to talk to a higher manager. So uh, we'll figure out what happens with that place soon, I hope. But yeah, that's kind of what we've been dealing with. That's why we haven't been able to plan a baby shower yet because we wanted for sure to lock into a place, move all our stuff in, and then that way we can rent out the amenities there and then just have all of our friends and family come over in there. I'm currently 29 weeks and three days pregnant. Three days? Three days pregnant. As of today, our baby is the size of a cauliflower right now. That's equivalent to about seven months. That leaves us with two more months left before the baby comes. I haven't spoke about this before, but since I found out that I was eight weeks pregnant, my previous doctor and insurance was located in the previous city that I lived in, which is about an hour and a half away from here. So I was in the process of transferring from that county to this county. When I called my insurance from that location to see if I can schedule an appointment to get an OB, they helped me book an appointment to a local women's clinic here, but I didn't know that it was not an OB. It was just a women's clinic. So when they told me to go there, the only thing that they were able to do was to check an ultrasound. And then I think they were able to check my blood to see if my iron was low, the baby's heart rate, the ultrasound, and they were able to give me an estimate of how many weeks I was and when the baby was 
kind of do, but there was no OB work there. So I had to apply to get insurance in the LA County, which ended up to be a really tedious process. So when I was eight weeks pregnant, it took about two weeks for me to be able to get a new insurance here in LA County. Then it took about another two weeks to get an appointment with a doctor just to authorize my pregnancy. And the doctor that I had spoken to the first time that they assigned me to, the front desk receptionist lady was so rude and it was only a phone appointment. At that point, I, I was thinking, why do you need an authorization to know that I'm pregnant when I'm just talking to you on the phone? After I got the authorization, she said it'll take about a week for me to get something in the mail that says I'm okay to see this doctor. I waited a week. I received nothing in the mail. I gave them a call at the end of the week and they gave me a direct contact to the OBGYN that they authorized me for. I called that OBGYN and she told me that she did not receive an authorization, but she was able to book an appointment for me for June 21st. So I decided I wanted to get a new doctor. I went through maybe three doctors. So I was in the process of that. You know, LA is huge. So a lot of the places that they were assigning me to for an OB was so far away. It was about an hour away from where we were. So there was no way I was gonna go an hour to constantly visit an OB because you know, you don't know if the baby's gonna come out early or a little bit later. So I needed to find a place that was going to be at least 15 minutes away max. And then I wanted to find a different insurance company different medical group within the LA County I needed to have everything transferred from my previous county to the LA County which was another three-week process so I was on the phone every single morning for about two to three hours just dealing with this whole transfer finally like maybe about three weeks ago I finally found a doctor I got to see them in person but also I got a phone call from that original OB. Instead of having my appointment on the 21st of June, they said they could move it to June 4th, which was perfect timing because not only did I finally find a doctor that was helpful, but they were also within the same medical group. Being able to authorize the OB only took 24 hours. I finally got to see my OB for the first time about two days ago. This is the first time at the OB. John's in the waiting room right now. We're waiting for the doctor to come in and talk to me and then we can get him to come in and then he can see the ultrasound. Which is crazy to think about because you would think that it'd be more urgent to these people, but it's they just really don't care here in LA County. I've just been hoping for the best. The baby has been hanging in there, trying to keep as healthy as possible, taking my prenatals every single day since I found out that I was pregnant. And also, also, I can finally get my root canal. During the second trimester, I had a tooth pain where my root canal was. I got my root canal 10 years ago in Vietnam. Vietnam, you guys. So I got approved by my dentist to get a redone on my root canal, which requires surgery. When I was authorized to see an oral surgeon from my dentist, the oral surgeon said they needed an authorization from an OBGYN. So again, it was a full circle. Finally got to see the OB. Now I can finally get my root canal done. And now I have prenatal care. The baby's been healthy, thank goodness. And every single ultrasound that we were able to get before, first and second one was from the Women's Health Clinic again. Third one we paid for. So we go. I know I'm not gonna tell you, but still I want to know who do you want. Uh, we love our boy. Boy yeah. boy. A boy first. <laughs> You're so wrong. A, boy, a girl, girl needs to be first. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are stubborn. <laughs> we'll be happy either way. <laughs> right there, your little kid. Do you see the Hello, yeah. hello. So we can see the 4D ultrasound of the baby and also to find out the gender, which we still don't know about. We wanted the gender review at the same time as the baby shower to keep it a gender neutral party. Now I gotta catch up on a lot of tests that I missed. So yeah, I've been dealing with insurance, the process of moving, planning a baby shower. Everything's gonna be fine. I've also kind of been in like a nesting mood, trying to organize a list of things that we need for our new place before the hospital, during the hospital, and after the hospital. My mind's just been all over the place. But when John and I do move, we will be doing a moving vlog, show you guys around. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, Make sure to subscribe to continue following our journey. Hit that notification button so that way you don't miss out on the next. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.